Marianne Fowler was born on the 12th of April 1937 and currently resided in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. The day before Christmas in 2002, 65-year-old Marianne, a former career education advocate and a former state secretary of education, was on her way to visit her husband for the holidays. Her husband, Jerry Fowler, was a former Louisiana Elections Commissioner who was serving a five-year sentence in a Texas federal prison for bribery. He resigned his position in 1999 and pleaded guilty to receiving kickbacks from voting machine contractors. Fowler continued to stand by her husband and often made the lengthy commute from Baton Rouge to visit him in prison. She set off in her car but she would never arrive and would never be seen again. At around 5.30pm, Fowler stopped for sandwiches at a Subway sandwich shop in a strip mall on Louisiana Highway 415, west of Port Allen across the Mississippi River from her home. Relatives said she planned to stay with relatives on Christmas Eve, then continue to the federal prison in Texas. But those plans would all fall apart at that moment, because in the parking lot someone was prowling, waiting for Fowler when she left the shop. Sometime later, the subway employees noticed that her master was still in the parking lot. Marianne's belongings were found scattered on the pavement shortly after she disappeared, along with some of her acrylic fingernails, which were possibly torn off in her struggle with the abductor. It was immediately clear that robbery was not a motive, as her food, purse and keys were left behind, and her car was not taken. Several wrapped Christmas presents remained in the back seat of her car. Investigators knew CCTV should be available in or around one of the units, so they scoured the area hoping that it would be picked up on camera, and it was, but it would leave them somewhat disappointed. The surveillance video that captured the apparent abduction was shot from inside a liquor and tobacco store, two strip mall store locations away from the Subway restaurant Fowler had visited, moments before she disappeared. The camera was on a constant rotation, so was not fixed on the spot. Fowler's Mazda and a pickup truck can be seen parked together outside through the liquor store's windows. The grainy VHS videotape shows some kind of struggle between two people and then the pickup truck speeding away from the subway. The camera also caught the abduction suspect on tape, but the image was not sufficient quality to be used to identify anyone. Sheriff's deputies searched for Fowler for 12 days after she disappeared, covering 500 miles, but to no avail. Investigators also quickly ruled out her husband. They don't believe Jerry's criminal activities had anything to do with Fowler's abduction. However, there was another possible suspect in Mary's disappearance, one that didn't bear thinking about. Her apparent abduction came during the height of fear over the then unknown serial killer at work in a string of brutal murders of women in the Baton Rouge area. A special joint task force had already been formed one day before Fowler disappeared. Authorities announced four slayings had been tied to the same DNA profile. The Baton Rouge serial killer would later be apprehended and identified as Derek Todd Lee. He had been charged with six murders amongst other crimes, and detectives working Fowler's case had collected some small bits of evidence pointing to Lee, but in retrospect nothing definitive that could prove a case in court. Firstly, cell phone records place him in the general area of Fowler when she was abducted, 
and Lee owns a truck similar to the one seen at the site of Fowler's abduction. Lee later sold his pickup truck just days after sheriff's investigators disclosed in the media that they were looking for that kind of pickup truck in Fowler's case. Investigators eventually found the new owners, but could find no DNA evidence in the truck. Lee also did not have an alibi on Christmas Eve, as his wife Jackie and their two children returned home that night and were surprised to discover that he was not there. Investigators tried to question Lee regarding her disappearance, but even when they promised not to prosecute Lee for Fowler's murder, if Lee would just say where her body was, so sheriffs could bring some closure for Fowler's grandchildren, Lee would not only relent, but he would also go into a tantrum. He would go nuts when questioned about it. Lee died on January the 21st, 2016, of heart disease at a hospital in Louisiana. Mary has never been located and neither Lee nor anyone else has been charged in her case. She was declared legally dead in May 2004, 17 months after she was last seen. As of 2023, Marianne Fowler remains missing and her case unsolved.